What's up guys, it's Danny here from Daniel Techers and today's my predicted lineup for Arsenal vs Chelsea in the Premier League. Let's get into my lineup. In goal, I'm going to go with Jordo Petrovic. I didn't think he did anything wrong in the Cup semi final against Manchester City. At right back, I'm going to go with Malo Gusto. He did come off in the game against City. I think he'll be okay heading into this game. Two centre backs, I'm going to go with Thiago Silva and Trevor Chalaba. Yes, again, they were both fantastic against Manchester City. At left back, I'm going to go with Mark Kukreya. Arguably my man of the match from Sussex. I thought he was absolutely fantastic. Two defensive midfielders. I'm going to go with Moises Caicedo and Conor Gallagher. I think Enzo Fernandez was rushed back for the game on Saturday. And you could really see it. Because I think he was just slow and lethargic on the ball. Caicedo was good again. And Gallagher was forced out to the left. Which wasn't the best move from Pochettino. On the right I'm going to go with Noni Madueke. I know he's come under some criticism this week. Due to the penalty incident and... Apparently been caught laughing at the end of the game against Manchester City. In Cam, I'm going to go with Cole Palmer. Didn't do much against City. We had a few chances here and there, but really wasn't involved. On the left, I'm going to go with Raheem Sterling. I'd like us to actually put a left midfielder out on the left-hand side. This time, I want to see Sterling start bring some experience into the side. Mudrik wasn't at his best when he came on. And out front, I'm going to go with Nico Jackson. I know, yes again, poor in front of goal. Seems that the last three or four games we've had at Wembley, it seems to be one player that has a stinker in front of goal, is it? When it's Mount, when we played Liverpool in the Carabao Cup final a few years ago. Mount again when we played Liverpool in the FA Cup. Gallagher when we played Liverpool in the Carabao Cup final this year. And then Jackson when we played Man City in the FA Cup semi-final. There's a good player in Jackson, we just have to bring it out as fast as we can. So let's get into the opposition side of things. So our opponents, Arsenal, in the last game, they won 2-0 away at Molyneux on Saturday evening. Goals were Trossard in the 45th minute, and then Martin Odegaard in the 95th minute. In the last five games, they lost 1-0 to Bayern Munich, which saw them get knocked out of the Champions League. For that, they lost 2-0 at home to Aston Villa. Before that, they drew 2 all at home to Bayern Munich. Before that, they beat Brighton away 3-0. Before that, they beat Luton at home 2-0. Top goal scorer is Bakaya Saka, who's got 18 goals and 13 assists in 43 games with 196 minutes per goal. Yet again, he's a class above many players in the Premier League. He seems to be going up a level each year. Each year, he just goes up and goes up. And the danger player is Martin Odegaard, who's got 11 goals and 7 assists in 43 games with 327 minutes per goal. He's a captain and he's been very, very good this season in terms of goal contributions. It's one of his best seasons for Arsenal in front of goal. And he's been a player, when the other players are not shining, he's been there to get Arsenal level or back into a game. My score prediction, I'm going to go for Arsenal 2, Chelsea 3. Goals for Arsenal by Bakayo Saka and Martin Odegaard. And for Chelsea, I do see goals from Thiago Silva, Cole Palmer and Raheem Sterling. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. See ya.